y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my summer peek inside my planner. So I'm gonna flip through all of my summer 2019 spreads and I'm actually split into two different planners because this is the tail end of last year's academic year and then this is the new 2019-20 planner. So let's start with this one. And this one actually only has the first six months uh, because I couldn't make up my mind about when I wanted to recoil my planner. So I'm just going to stick with academic year from here on out. But here we are with my June 2019 spread. I had a action items list, but June was a little crazy. So this is my monthly spread. This kit is from Sadie's Stickers. It has gold foil on it. It is beautiful. And this month was our first month of summer we had just gotten out of school like a week before this and the month started out a little bit slow which is always nice to start summer that way had a little family weekend here and then i was preparing to go on a big trip with my sister to new york city and to washington dc and as you know i broke my wrist on day one so that was fun. Um, we still had an amazing time, but you will see how my spreads turned out. Um, I had to go back weeks and weeks after my trip because I could only plan with one hand and that just wasn't working for me. So it took me a while to finish these spreads, but I have them all done. Thank goodness. Um, and then this day is when I scheduled my surgery, which was on the 1st of July, but it was a really, really awesome trip. I had a great time besides breaking my wrist and being in pain the whole time, but it was still just amazing. And I love how this spread turned out. This kit is just really beautiful. And I love the foil and this orange washi that I don't get to use very often is really pretty. So this is the first spread of June. So this is May 27th through um, June 2nd and this kit is from Scribble Prince Co. It's really cute. I love all the green. I am definitely a lover of green and let's see this week was pretty chill. Um, Memorial Day we had my friend Jennifer's having a baby and so we had her gender reveal. She's having a boy and first community, community market was really fun and I started doing PR for Glam Planner. Um, this was a pretty chill week. So let's go on to the next week. So this spread I just love. I did this kit and this spread in honor of my sister Chase. It was her birthday this week and she is obsessed with the Wizard of Oz. And my sister and I were planning to see Wicked in a couple of weeks. And so it just seemed fitting. And I love how this turned out. This kit is from Scribble Prince Co. as well. And I love the pops of black and I love all the overlays. I just think this is such a fun spread and it just came together really well. And I just think it's so cute. This is when I started doing um, checklists on pretty much every day and it really helped my planning style during the weekdays. Um, so I did go to Abilene from my town to visit family this weekend and we just had a great time. We had dinner together. We had just lots of fun times, lots of meals I see, and we had Chase's birthday party along with my nephew Grayson. His birthday was um, the next week, yes, and so we celebrated them together, and I just remember this week being really good, and I loved it. Ooh, I remember that. I was catching up on both of those. Yeah, this was such a cute week, and then this one is a kit from Glam Planner called Tahiti Sweetie and I really love the colors in this. It's super fun. This is not what any of my vacations have ever looked like but I really love the like black and um, white aspect to some of the full boxes and stuff and I brought in this washi from Simply Gilded and I just think this turned out so cute and this was the day that I was flying to Dallas. I ended up flying twice because there was a storm and we had to turn around and go back and try again. So I was on a plane for much, much longer than 
I was anticipating, but I ended up getting there. That should have been an indication that my trip wasn't going to go exactly um, how I wanted it to, but looking back, it was fine. It was just kind of stressful. I don't like to fly, so it was getting on a plane twice in one day was not super fun. Um, it looks like I messed up there. I think I probably used some undo on this side and then it messed up. I'll fix that later. Anyway, I thought this was really cute. I love the full boxes, the mix of the kind of like scenes with the flat lays and it just turned out really cute. This was Father's Day. Um, I was just packing and getting organized this week, so it doesn't look like I did a lot really, but I did. I did a ton of stuff. And then this is what I back planned many, many weeks after my trip. But this was the week that we spent in New York. We actually left on this day, really, really early in the morning. We left for the airport at like three. But um, the day before, we just kind of hung around Dallas and kind of did some last minute errands and stuff. And this kit is from Firefly Paper Shop. And this turned out so cute. Like this was exactly what our little apartment looked like, which is where I fell and broke my wrist. Although it's doing much better. I um, later on, I'll show you where I had surgery and stuff, but yeah, it's much, much better. Never going to be the same, but it is 10 times, 100 times better than it was that day. <laughs> but yeah, we had a great time in New York. It was amazing. I have a whole like, um, no, I didn't do videos on these. I think I just did them because I was just really happy to be planning and I just did these by myself, but I brought in a lot of character stickers. Um, we had a great Great time, great meals. We saw To Kill a Mockingbird. We saw Wicked. We went on a bunch of tours and museums. We went to the friend's apartment. <laughs> and then we went to DC. So the next spread is kind of DC themed, even though we were in DC for these days. Um, we got to have dinner with my cousin and his wife and family. We went to the Holocaust Museum. That museum was incredible. It was just a really, really great trip. We exhausted ourselves, but it was worth it. And then this is the spread that I kind of dedicated to my DC week. And this is a Lexi Kylie Designs kit. It's really cute. And I really like her style. I'm actually using a monthly kit for September by her. And I just love how this turned out. We got to go to a, um, a tour of the FBI building. So many museums and places. I think I didn't even fit all of them in here. It was just like tons of places and by the time I got home so we flew back to Dallas on Tuesday and then I flew home the next day and this whole all these days are just a blur to me because I was just sleeping and resting and I was in a lot of pain um, getting ready for surgery so I did go to the doctor on this day when I got back and he did schedule a surgery to repair and kind of put me back together. So that is the last spread in this planner. And then I'll switch over to my other planner, which is the one I'm currently using for 2019-20. And let's go to July. So I did have some trouble. Well, I've been having some trouble with these new notes pages. I thought I was really going to like them, but I think it's just too much space. I tried out a couple of things here that just didn't really stick. Here is my monthly spread for July. I love this. This is Shop Jessica Hearts. It's so cute. I just love it. And I use tons of characters. And this was basically me recovering from surgery, which took me longer than I thought. I just wasn't... I'm old now. I'm 35. And I'm not in my 20s anymore. And it took me just a lot longer to bounce back than I thought. And... Yeah, so a lot of this was just sleeping, relaxing, but I did finally get out of the house um, on this day, went and had dinner, not dinner, lunch with my friend Kat and got a pedicure, feeling like a human being again. My family also came to visit, which was really nice. My sister also came for my surgery, um, but yeah. And then I started back to work doing my work days and I went to a workshop and I watched Orange of the New Black. I bawled my eyes out for the last few episodes. 
but yeah this is such a cute cute spread bugs all over the office <laughs> there are still bugs all over our school because it was a really really hot summer and they had to leave the doors open for a huge chunk of the summer because they were doing some renovations and that was like an invitation for all the bugs to come inside and now they're everywhere it's like a jungle in there okay let's move on to my first spread that was planned post-surgery i back planned this which is why it looks kind of like perfect but this is so cute this is a caress press kit and i added some foil to it just for fun and this was when i had surgery my sister came and then the rest of the week i was just sleeping through all of it and then my parents came i tried to do as much as i could but there were just some things that i just could not make it to which is unfortunate but you know sometimes you got to listen to your body and rest but I really love this. It's so cute. I'm really sad that Caress Press is closing because I love her kits. Okay, this is really fun. This is Crafty Banana. This was her summer collection. And this is a scene kit. This turned out so cute. And this is another one that I back planned. And this is just adorable. I love the pops of black in my little weekend banner. I really did this just to fill up some space because I was not doing a ton of stuff. I was getting out of the house and like walking and stuff, but like that's it. I was just resting. Um, but I think that this actually helped me recover a lot faster. Oh, I started Harlots on Hulu. That show's really good if you love history and you can handle some language and um, all of the things that come with a mature show. <laughs> um, this is another Caress Press kit. Oh, it's so pretty, and I love her paper. This is gorgeous. I think that this is the first spread that I pre planned after like everything from mid June on. So I took like a basically a month break from filming and from YouTube. This was a really fun kit to come back to and film like doing my filming and stuff because it was such a fun kit and the colors are just so bright and just cheery and I just love this it's beautiful and I love the art in this it was a mix of some old art with newer art and I think it's just adorable and that yellow is so pretty but yeah this week um, my family was returning home and I was kind of getting back to a normal schedule back to like my normal existence. I was doing, you know, really simple workouts for watching Veronica Mars. Oh, this is cute. This is from Shop Jessica Hearts. Tons of oil on this kit, um, but this turned out so cute. This is, I don't remember what it was called, but it was a bee kit and it was just adorable. And this is when I started my work days again. So I was starting to really get back into my routines and I was trying to get up at a normal time and go to bed at a normal time and just do things every single day. And that really kind of helped me out. And really once we started school back, I was like ready to go because I'd been working and like on a normal sleep schedule for weeks. I'm a super night owl so it's really easy for me to fall into staying up until one and sleeping until like eight and I know that's not good for me definitely not good for me but it's like my natural state but I really really love this watching orange is the new black haircut love getting a haircut and then we move into August here's my August um notes pages here this is just not really working for me and I don't really know why. I think I just don't ever go back to it. I don't think to go back to it. I kind of use this still, but like this is not, I did not look at this at all. So I either need to repurpose it or I need to just glue these together and just use this as my uh, monthly tending list. We'll see though, I've got a little bit of time to make that decision. So here is my August monthly. I love this so much. This is so cute. This is from a kit from 2-9 Sticker Co. And it was a new to me shop. And 
this was just it turned out so cute i wanted a school themed kit for august i always do and this is the one that i kind of settled on and it looks just adorable i love this washi and this was a really good month i got back to work i was feeling really good and confident um it's freaking hot in august in texas but everybody got back to work like this a day and i had been working we had our leadership team meeting um, we had tons of in service i got to see william clark green i love him so much we had a happy hour um worked football concession stand our first football game was this night worked the rodeo i just love how this turned out it's so cute and bright oh i finished mind hunter season two i loved it i hate that i have to wait so long for the next season all right, here is a kit from Glam Planner. This is so bright and cheerful, and I definitely wanted to use it in August. This is so cute. It was her summer mystery kit, and it has hollow foil, which this is the first spread that I ever used hollow foil in, and I think this turned out so cute. This week was pretty boring because I was just working and just getting back into a normal like school day routine which is different from my summer routine um, but yeah this was a great week getting back to work didn't work out that day um, and it is very 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 hot oh this is so pretty I love it so much this is from Sadie stickers and I can't remember I think it was called grace but this is beautiful rose gold foil I love this kit and this spread so much. This is when I felt like back to myself again. And I was like, I took up my brace. I called the doctor before I actually did that because he moved my appointment and I just couldn't handle having my brace on anymore. And I just felt free and I felt like me. And this spread like perfectly shows that. I love all the Fox and Pippin stuff. It's so cute. But the, yeah, this week was just working we had our fall kickoff. I got to see George Kiro speak. And it looks like I was doing some normal workouts. Yeah, I started doing like some different things besides just um, running or walking and yoga. And then this kit is from Scribble Prints Co. This is so cute. I think it was called Desert Chic. And <laughs> this is so cute. This is a in-service week for us. And so I was just working. I'm getting back to my normal like school yeah i started using my school stickers and putting my school stuff back at the top and yeah got to see william clark green mind hunter i like binged it all weekend i just love that show and then i started back at the beginning because that show is just so good and then this is the last spread for this summer and i think that this seems really fitting because this was um, a kit by Virgo and Paper. I love that shop so much, and I love the owner, and I just will continue to use her stickers so much because I just really, really want to support her shop. But this week was the week before school started, and I chose this kit because as a social studies teacher, I love all things maps and globes, and this turned out so cute. I really love the colors. This color is amazing with the mauve. It's just such an interesting, colorful kit. And I really like the pops of the navy. It's just perfect for the week before school starts because it's like kind of dipping my toe back into school but not like going full force. And I think it turned out perfect. I love my new school headers. And I'm really loving kind of my new sidebar now that I'm not in grad school anymore. Thank God. I'm so glad I'm done with that. But yeah, I love this a lot. Um, we had a fun happy hour. I was reading um, the Guernsey P Potato Peel Pie Society, which I definitely recommend. It's so cute. I was watching Dairy Girls. That show cracks me up. But yeah, this week, I can't, I think like this week was the turning point. And then every spread like since then has just been like some of my favorites. And I really like them. So I hope that you enjoyed this little flip through of my summer spreads. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye!